Our next story is about a nuclear submarine crash. It involves a Chinese vessel, 55 sailors, and a trap that went horribly wrong. Apparently, the PLA let its soldiers die. It could have asked for help, but in the end, pride prevailed over compassion. A British newspaper has published this story, and China has denied it. We cannot independently verify it, but here's what it says. This alleged incident dates back to August. China's nuclear submarine was operating here in the Yellow Sea, close to the Shandong province. The sub was called 093417. Now, the 093 is a special type of submarine. China began inducting these some 15 years back, and it has at least six such vessels, six such submarines. Here's what makes them special. Experts say these subs have a modern design. They're more than 350 feet long. They're not noisy, and they come armed with torpedoes. Plus, they're nuclear powered. So they don't need any other fuel to run. These subs are powered by a small nuclear reactor. It is placed on board the vessel. And one such submarine is said to have become a death trap. Here's what happened in August. The submarine was on duty. There were 55 crew members on board, 22 officers, 7 officer cadets, 9 petty officers, 17 sailors. Now, when this vessel was submerged, it struck something, an obstacle, an anchor with a chain. Who put it there? Who put an anchor with a chain there? The Chinese. It's a tragic irony. They were caught in their own trap. The PLA often uses these. It drops these anchors near the Chinese waters. The idea is to deter enemy submarines, to stop the vessels from America and its allies, to ensure that they do not get too close. Now, reports say that the Chinese did send help. But the repairs took six hours. And by the time they were done, it was too late. All the crew on board had died. It seems the oxygen system on the sub had failed. Instead of saving lives, it ended up poisoning the crew. It did not have to be like that, though. Reports say China could have asked for help. It had the option to seek international assistance, but it appears that Beijing did not explore that option. And we can understand why. China can be paranoid when it comes to military affairs. It goes to great lengths to keep secrets. So you can imagine their apprehension. Bringing in foreign help would have exposed the design of the submarine or the vulnerabilities of the Chinese Navy. According to an expert, China's submarines might be missing an important component. Listen to one of the assessments. If they were trapped in the net system and the submarine's batteries were running flat, which is plausible, then eventually the air purifiers and air treatment systems could have failed. We have a kit which absorbs carbon dioxide and generates oxygen in such a situation. It is probable that other nations do not have this kind of tech. And if that's the case, China would never call for outside help, even if it meant losing a submarine, even if it meant letting go of 55 of its people, letting them die, 55 sailors. Beijing may have wanted to bury the matter. But someone in the West was watching. The United Kingdom was watching. A report has been published. It says the British intelligence made an assessment. And this assessment was leaked. I also have some quotes from that. Our understanding is death caused by hypoxia, that is, lack of oxygen due to a system fault on the submarine. This is the assessment from London. The British have refused to talk about this in public. What about Beijing? China has issued a denial. It says this never happened. Strangely, Taiwan, too, has spoken about it. The alleged crash happened near the strait. Does Taipei know about it? Taiwan's military was asked this question. Do they know about what happened? They say they've not detected anything. Their surveillance did not pick anything up. So it's difficult to verify these claims. But one thing is for sure, if these reports are accurate, it would expose a major failure on the PLA's part, a Chinese submarine caught in a Chinese trap. Beijing has every reason to conceal the truth here.